Yeah, yeah, we are back in our FX. And in today's video, I'll be sharing my top three filler FX that I use on every single music video that I do to make my editing process way more faster. Cause you know, sometimes the deadline will be too short and you gotta finish a video on like 10 hours or even like 24 hours. And in those situations, you can like make like crazy FX cause it takes a lot of time. Like every effect will take you on like one or two hours. But these are my top three FX, which helps me to edit faster like these are super easy to do and look super cool and doesn't even look like a filler effect so let me show you what it is so our first effect will be a time warp effect if you haven't saw this this is really popular right now and it is super super simple to do so let me show you so basically to create this effect what we gonna do is add like something like a sapphire time warp time slice actually time slice effect yeah you need sapphire for this unfortunately you can't do it with after effect default plugin without sapphire it is really difficult to create so i really recommend getting sapphire but anyways after you add time slice effect you can already see we have this crazy warp and this like warp slice effect basically as the name says but we gotta make it smoother so it looks like a smooth warp type effect if that makes sense so for that what we gonna do is is there's a secret option right here that a lot of people skip is it's called like interrupt frame right here frames right here just enable that and after you enable that instantly you can see it is now much smoother and even creates this like a transition between your two clips you can of course play with all of these values to like make what you like i like to always set the slice value to around like five so it is not that intense but it still gets that effect maybe around like seven because it is like too low yeah seven looks fine to me as you can see that easily we have a really cool effect going on and this is one of my favorite fillers right here it is trending right now so your artist will love it plus it is like really easy to do one more thing you can like enhance this effect with is if i remove this time slice for now and the slice my clip where the like the transition begins and right here i'm gonna add an adjustment layer trim the adjustment layer right here and open up the animation presets user presets and i'm gonna just quickly add a zoom using my essential fx you can just keyframe your scale but i like to use essential fx because it makes the work for a lot faster so i'm gonna just add a zoom and remove the flicker from here so we have this like smooth zoom on our second clip like that now what we're gonna do is actually select all of these clips and pre comp it once more so we get this pre comp right here with all together and right here what we're gonna do again is is add the time slice fa and enter a frame and make the value to seven and now if you play this through you can see this creates a really really like smooth transition right here because of the zoom that we added the one before looked really flat so i really like to use something like a zoom inside the pre-comp to create a transition like this as you can see it looks really smooth now so yeah you can combine this effect with something like a sapphire flicker if you like lower down the frequency and bring up the amount and get that look going on yes you can see with the sapphire flicker it looks really really smooth but anyways i really recommend using this effect because it is like really simple to do as you saw like few effects and you are ready to go and looks really cool doesn't even look like a lazy effect so yeah let's just move on to our second filler effect so my second filler effect will be this like wiggle effect right here wiggle transition you can call it is insanely popular right now so let me show you how to do this so i have these all of these clips right here i'm gonna go in one of these clips right here and make an adjustment layer trim it through the duration of our clip uh, right here and right here we're gonna add a sapphire wiggle nah sapphire warp bubble actually sapphire warp bubble and what it will do is it is like the like it is basically like turbulent displacement but it is like a better turbulent displacement if that makes sense so we're gonna use this to create that wheel so i'm gonna bring the first size amount to around like seven is uh yeah around like seven and hit the stopwatch in the amplitude and in the frequency as well you can bring up the amplitude more to around like 0 0.500 go a little further on like here and bring it down to zero so we get this like animation like so we get this like ugly animation right here then we gonna do the same thing with the frequency but we're gonna bring it down so we're gonna bring it to around like 0.1 right here so it starts from 7 to 0 0.1 so it will basically create an animation like this as you can see now what you can do 
is select the frequency keyframe real quick select the frequency keyframe f9 to easy ease go into your graph and make a graph like this like this really easy and you can already see it makes it look really fast and really cool but what we gonna do now is go over to where it says seed and alt click it and add an expression right here so we're gonna add a time asterisk maybe something like 50 so it just like goes by those amount and you can see we have this crazy wheel right there going on as you can see that looks cool but it is like really impactful to fix that just select those amplitude keyframe uh f9 to easy ease go into the graph and just make a graph like this graph like this maybe not too tight something to hide that crazy like wiggle at the end yeah something like that and you can see we already have this super dope wheel right here but we're gonna combine it with something like a uh, distort chroma this time and bring up the blur lens of the distort chroma to uh, like 1000 this will be according to your clip so don't like exactly copy my values but i'm gonna hit the stop watch in the amount maybe bring it up a little bit and then go over to the end and bring it down to zero and bring up those keyframes easy ease those again and make a similar graph in there so something like this so it's just like basically like warps and right there then to combine with it you can add like an exposure put it before your distort chroma and add an exposure keyframe in here just a little flash with it like that and then you can also add like an optic compensation reverse the lens and bring it up and as it goes just like animated so it goes to zero and easy those keyframes go into the graph and make a similar graph in here yeah something like this and now our wiggle is almost done you can lastly combine it with something like a sapphire flicker to add some flicker and the best part about this wiggle is you can copy these on all of your like clips so you can copy in all of these clips and it will look still look really dope so i can copy this copy this to my this clip as well and you can see with a single copy and paste we get this crazy wheel going on so yeah wiggles have been my favorite like filler effect it didn't turn out that great of a wiggle right now because i was like rushing it but you can just like work on the graph and make it more seamless so if you don't already know i got essential effects and transition v2 and the v1 and it got a lot of these like wiggle type of effect all of these can be used like a quick filler or like you can combine it on your epic effect so if you go into here i got a lot of wiggles so you can drag in one of these if you have these packs i'll link it down below if you want to check it out comes with 80 plus effect so you can see really smooth off a wiggle with one click even these wiggles as you can see as i showed you so yeah if you have some money to invest i really recommend this pack because it saves a lot of time as you can see this wheel looks really really like epic and you can copy these wiggles on to every single clip that you have to create some really really dope like filler effect right here so basically my workflow goes like this when i don't get ideas like if i don't have ideas for any of the scene i'll just spam wheels and flicker like these type of wheels looks cool and looks seamless so your artist won't found out like you are going lazy with his like music videos and you will be good to go and you will also save a lot of time with it if that makes sense but yeah let's just move on to our third and last filler effect of the day so our third and last effect of the day will be this slow wiggle effect as you can see and yeah these are also some wiggle effect but it is not like the one that we did before it is really subtle and can be used on the bureau of footage where you don't really want to do the vfx and if you know invalid popularized this effect so big shout out to him he always says like i don't shout him out in like the effect he does so here you go so basically we got all of these b-rolls right here where we're gonna add the wiggle in so what we're gonna do is make an adjustment layer at the top and we're gonna add a sapphire puddle in here not sapphire warp bubble warp puddle right here warp puddle then first thing what we're gonna do is bring up the radius and put this anchor point at our out of your screen so around like here like basically like out of your scene and then bring up the radius so it covers your like covers your scene at this exact time and then we're gonna lower down the amount now uh, amount depends on how much wiggle you want so i like to go around like uh 0 0 0 
0.007 yeah something like 6 7 around like there if you know what i mean then after that we're gonna bring down the frequency so we really feel the wiggle going on so around like one on the frequency or even less and you will really start feeling the wiggle as you can see even go lower with the frequencies to around like to around like 0 0.50 yeah 0 0.40 maybe and now you can see it is looking really really smooth but the last thing what we're gonna do in the warp puddle is go over to where it says face speed and just bring it up slightly so it happens a little faster if that makes sense as you can see now we are really feeling that wiggle and now to combine with it we're gonna add a sapphire flicker and bring up the amount to around like 0 0.9 thousand and then bring up the frequency so around like six maybe even like three or four and lower down the amplitude more so around like here and you can see after that if you play it through you can see we have this really cool slow wiggle going on this is one of my favorite like filler effect i use it on every single video and a lot of people are using it right now so it is really popular and also shout out to invalid for inventing this effect this effect has been a clutch in my music videos lately but yeah with that our third effect is also done and it's looking like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and i'm gonna see you on the next one peace